Grab all that stuff. Stick it back on there. There you go, boy. Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dates, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Reassembly. Yes, the farmer race we've taken a, a bit of a break from. I was super frustrated with it, to be quite honest. But uh, I figured out some things, and I'd like to share them with you. This might be one of the last episodes we didn't get nearly as far in exploring the map as we did with the uh, Terran race. But I figure some more races would be a, a fun thing to do. I really, really love Reassembly as a game. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to continue making it a series on my channel. I have um, played with my fleet spawn just a little tiny bit. The barge is now 15 spaces, which is the required number to get plants to grow inside which is uh, quite important if you're going to make use of these seed spawners. I should probably also stick some more resource containment units in there as well. Um, maybe some weapons, something like that. That would be quite nice, but uh, at the moment it seems to work relatively fine. Valkyrie Interceptor, both cheap units, and then Shield Barge is basically just for collecting resources, which uh, I might replace with something else at a later date. But uh, for right now, the fleet is working relatively well. Not too bad, all things considered. Um, I'm still a little bit frustrated with how slow the farmer is. He just uh, kind of cruise around space. I don't think the farmer is meant to go that far, to be quite honest. Um, the ideal thing for the farmer to do is just kick back and uh, farm all his goodies. But we're trying to conquer the galaxy. You can't conquer the galaxy if you're just sitting back farming goodies. Uh, unless you do it economically. Looking at you, China. Taught me how to, how to do that. <laughs> a little bit of economic conquest. That's pretty impressive, huh? But, uh, we're not China. We're not China, we're just some plant people. I don't know what the fuck all this is. Hive block? Ooh, there's hives. This seems to be a, a player-made race, I guess. We should, uh, yeah. I've got a couple of player-made races downloaded, which I think is really, really cool. I've been playing around on the workshop a whole lot with this uh, game. Right now, I've only got a couple of uh, workshop items running, but we could make for some more. That would be quite nice. And there, uh, we'll fight the red for this, for this resource. Yeah, 804 resources for me, son! And then, uh, I'm gonna spawn just a little bit over here so I don't end up getting taken for a ride when we try to get this uh, spawner over here. And yeah, I can trade my resources as well to these little uh, these little factories. So that's pretty convenient if you want to get uh, currency instead of resources. Got a little tiny fleet, only two ships at the moment, but it'll get bigger, I tell you what. Ooh, look at this. Did I destroy that guy? Yeah. Got him with the missile storm, huh? Good job. Alright, here. Have some of this little ship. And let's head over this way. What the fuck? This guy's freaking out. <laughs> I guess he's not fully formed quite yet. But that's fine. Come with me. Come with me and you will see a world of pure imagination called Reassembly. This game, I reviewed it so long ago and I just can't stop playing it. It's so fantastic. I love you, Reassembly. <sighs> oh, you live in my heart forever. Um, yeah, Awesome Knots has been a big thing on the channel. I think Reassembly is going to become a big thing on the channel because it is just that good. And I really like destroying all these ships. We're having a, a bit of combat here. It seems some of my guys are getting taken down, but that's fine. We're going to get our spawner back online and uh, make a dent in this part of the universe. Ah, oh, yes. Quite nice. Now let me transfer some, uh, some currency to you. I probably need to work on, um, straightening my, my thrusters out. Right now things are a little wonky. Oh, and that little ship brought me some currency. How nice of you. We've got 6,000 at the moment, which is a shit ton, even though my ship is gigantic. So we should, uh, probably work it around just a little bit, but... I'm I'm reacquainting myself. It's been a, a few months. I came to the Philippines and all that. Been chilling out on the reassembly front, but I promised that it would make a comeback uh, per one or two people's request <laughs> via Twitter. 
I'm like, no, we're not done with reassembly quite yet. We gotta finish out the farmer race, and then we'll probably start on some other races and stuff like that. And uh, the request that I got was for player-made races, which I I will be doing. I'm torn between a player-made race or the uh, the Bumbles at the moment, because the Bumbles got, like, really fast thrusters, really great stingers, uh, and I really like those stinger beam weapons that the, the Terran was able to use to maximum effect. Look at this little guy. You gonna die, little guy? I don't know why I want you, but I want you. And they're 56. 56 currency. So piddly. I'll just keep heading over this way. There's a spawner. And we're just trying to, to spread out a little bit more. Because I've not gone many places. Most of this was just uh, dying. Largely thanks to the, the hardcore mod, mod that I <laughs> installed. I did want to make the game a little bit harder and... I would say that I succeeded in that front. They succeeded admirably. Wonderful job to the, the mod maker who I can't recall his name at the moment. But if you made it, you did a good job. It's not too hard, not too soft. It's the bed that Goldilocks chose. <laughs> um, let's get this guy over here. What you doing, buddy? Hanging out? You hung up on something? Oh god. And then the mom is coming. Alright, let's exit post haste. Oh, I need my shields back online. Oh fuck, this is a bad place to be. Alright, let's see if we can just spawn this. And I'll drop off my resources right quick. So if I die, I won't uh, be completely boned. How about this guy? What you doing over there, battle nurse? Battle nurse? Should be like medic or something. I can name these things better, but then they're probably aliens that don't speak uh, speak the language that I speak. You know? Ooh, look at that big fucking pile of resources over there. I don't know where that came from. I don't give a shit either, but I want it. It almost went away. I didn't know that they could despawn after a while. All right, we're doing good. Doing quite good. And that giant pile of resources probably came from one of those fellows. That's fine. That'll do nicely. Alright. So, uh, let's upgrade our ship just a little bit more. Solar panel! Really interesting, uh, choice of, of buildings here. But I want to make some more missiles and things like this. So let's see if we can do that. Oh, the sparrows. Those are so nice. HM1. Yes. Those are the ones that I like. The big missiles. So, okay, let's put uh, a little bit of something in the middle. Some hull armor. Um, make big. Yes. I like big. Uh, I probably need another one of these. Yes? I think so. Make it nice and even, and hopefully that's all going to fit together. I think I might need to move the thrusters just a little bit. Yes, that's okay. One of the things in reassembly that I enjoy the most is just uh, rebuilding my ship. Reassembling! Oh, imagine that. Oh my god, I think it's raining outside. How did this happen? I don't understand. MM1 missiles, do we have any of those yet? Yeah, we do. We haven't been using the, the Sparrow missiles, because those shits suck. But I am going to use these, these big daddies. Let's hook the big daddy on. There you go. Alright. More missiles never hurt anybody. Unless they do. Um, snap it on there. There we go. Look how nice that's looking. Uh, unobtainium strut. I guess I should place a couple here. Just patch up the little holes. And uh, that's also protecting my generator. Which might explode at some point and uh, destroy my entire ship. We got a lot of generators actually. I forgot how much work I did on this ship. I should like to fatten it up just a little bit. It's looking uh, a little wonky at the moment. But all in due time I do suppose. Let's uh, hook these on where the missiles are. 
And then we can do uh, little thrusters. Do little thrusters work? Or should I just do a big one? Oh, oh, oh. That's not... That's not what I want. Here, how about this? Nope, not gonna fit. That's okay. I'll put some little thrusters on there. That's gonna make everybody happy, right? I don't know. I assume it'll help something somehow. You really gotta keep your ship mobile. That is uh, one of the most important things. Then we've got missiles over here. MM1 missiles that I haven't attached to uh, the other side of the shield. So I should probably do that as well. Just, again, keep everything nice and even. There we go. And I need 4,998 power to run all this. So that should do nicely. Oh, that's pretty costly for upgrading, but we have a lot of currency at the moment. So let's save that. Oh my god. My ship falling apart. Grab all that stuff. Stick it back on there. There you go, boy. That's how we do it. And I've got that uh, that beacon to the far left there. So I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta explore the universe. I'll see you later. Yeah, my ship isn't um, as mobile as I would like it to be. But that's okay. Everything's okay here. Holy shit. Welcome to the Philippines. Thunderstorm action. <laughs> wow. That was a big one. That's a big one. Oh my god, thank god there's no weather in space. <laughs> I would like to leave all this behind. Hmm, it seems I'm missing a, a shield now. What happened to my shield? Interesting. It should look like that, but instead it looks like this. Why? What did I break? What did I unattach and not reattach? Hmm, something gone wrong. But oh well. <laughs> I don't care that much about fixing it. I'm just trying to wrap up the farmer race. I should probably uh, show off a barge. And then that'll be it. Because that's that's basically what the farmer race does. Make a barge. Farm all these resources. Yes. Nom nom nom. Plants for me. And obviously it uh, adds up really slow. Unless you have a fucking gigantic space box barge. And then it'll add up extremely quickly. You'd be quite surprised how much you can farm just sitting at home when you are the awesome plant making farmer race person. Uh, are they people? I think they're just ships. I think they're just ships that float about in space. Hmm. Maybe attaching those missiles to the front broke my, uh, my shields. Which doesn't make much sense because they were working before. But okay, that's fine. I'm going to uh, find some some hunting. Some quality hunting. How's this? Aha! Uh -huh. Destroy! That's right. Dayton's in here now. Daddy's in here! Fuck off! That's right. You die! He should have probably stayed uh, closer. If he closed in on my ship, there's not a lot that I could have done. But he didn't. And he paid the price. Look at these little ships. These little ship heads. We need a bit more to spawn. Well, I'm going to continue over this way. There's more beacons and whatnot. Ooh. That's what I want. There you go. Try and eliminate all these missiles before they get to you. That's the name of the game. And I don't know whether his shields are holding up or uh, if he's just destroying all my missiles. It seems like he's doing a pretty good job of not letting the missiles in. So uh, congratulations to you, sir. I'll have to close in just a little bit more. There we go. How's that? How do you like that? And I accidentally spawned right in the middle of enemy territory, which is not a good idea. Oh, it's uh, one of those boxy things. The barges that I like so much. So we have to protect him until he uh, is able to spawn some plants and things like that. And then the plants will grow inside, and when the plants finally die, that is when we will be able to harvest. 
harvest all the boxy resourceness. And you can see over here that there are uh, some plants that have died. And then you're able to, to just pick up the remains. I don't know what it is from the plants. Some kind of organic matter that can be traded for currency. So thank you for that. Thank you for giving up your life for me, plants. Unfortunately, you can't just shoot the plants. Uh, that would be a little too convenient, I think. Oh, yeah. There's some more. Let's spawn a, a little guy. We can get our, our tiny fleet back on its feet. I never really make too big of a fleet. And if my fleet gets too big, then uh, I end up charging in and dying. <laughs> oh, it's unfortunate. That it is. Ooh, look at this little guy. What are you doing over here? Think you could just roll up on me like that? Uh-uh. I need one more... One more resource to spawn. Come along. See, my barge is growing plants on it already. Not on the inside, as I had hoped. But on the outside. Good job. Wonderful work. And look at my little guy causing trouble over there. What are you doing? You, you dragging him back to daddy? Don't worry, daddy's gonna help you out. There you go. That's right. I give the resources over here. Be a good little boy. There you go. Wonderfully done. Oh, and there's some more, uh, some more plants to take advantage of over here. Quite a few, actually. You can see it's, uh, definitely a slow way to farm resources, but this is what the farmer race does. <laughs> I wasn't completely aware of how to play it when I started it up, but uh, hopefully you guys have been able to gain some knowledge from my my failures. <laughs> it's not been a complete disaster though, so uh, I'm thankful for that. Go ahead and poop out another little ship. Oh, that's the barge. I can actually trade my uh, resources to it for currency, and it will start spawning ships of its own. So I don't want to let him grab uh, any resources because he's not gonna he's not gonna hand it over to me. He's gonna be like, "What do I need that for? I got a spawner, bro. What do you want?" Here we go. Push, push, push. Break him. Yes. Wonderful. We need a little bit more. I think the barge is the one that's gonna spawn next. So it is fine. Hmm. I should hit this beacon up. I've only got four ships in my fleet at the moment. It's a, a small but mighty fleet. Yes, it is. All right. You want to come over here? You want to get some of this? Sockle? Sockle them all the foggle? Yeah, wreck them. The barge has a little bit of trouble. Um, not the barge. What do, what do I call this thing? Shield barge. Okay. <laughs> It's a barge with shields, I guess. It's basically only there for spawning uh, uh, more into the fleet, collecting resources. It doesn't even hand the resources over, which I think is quite sad. Look at that. Fucking wrecked. Those reds get just decimated. <laughs> the, the shields that they have, or they don't even have shields. The blocks that they have are extremely weak. They just regenerate super fast, which... Uh, doesn't usually end up in their favor, if you want me to be quite honest. Let's get rid of this guy. He's fucking trying to do stuff to me. Trying to fuck with my fleet. Ain't gonna happen. I might be just a farmer, but I got a pitchfork, son. And uh, by pitchfork, I mean missiles. Lots of missiles. Let's shoot missiles at that guy. Yay! Destroy everything! I'll poop out some more ships. Get my fleet going. Good job, everyone. And is that the, the new shield barge? Yeah, the old one's over there. He's only got one plant growing on him so far. That's not ideal. I'll poop out some more. Here's some missiles for you. Missile storm! Oh my god, they all missed. I guess that's why they call them missiles, huh? Ha 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 Dad joke. Dad joke as fuck. <laughs> My uh, other ships have a little bit of trouble keeping up with me, with me obviously. Um, but that's okay. They don't have to worry about that. Daddy's here to keep them all safe. 
But uh, if you do move far enough away from your ships, then they end up uh, getting lost out of your fleet. Hey, look! Here's another one of my friends! Did I put you over here, guy? Oh, and there's an agent fleet that's uh, about to hit one of my... One of my locations. I don't like that none too much. And we don't really have uh, the types of ships that can take down an agent fleet. My ships are all either extremely weak um, and cheap, <laughs> or just meant to farm resources. But like I said, that's kind of what the farmer race does. And we're exhibiting that exceedingly well. I think uh, for either the, the player-made race that we play next or the Bumbles, I'm not sure which. Uh, it's up in the air at the moment. But whatever we pick from there, I'm definitely going to uh, pump... Pump, pump, pump it up as far as my fleet goes. I want them to be made for combat. Yes, indeed. And, yeah, he's got a little bit growing inside now. Look at that. Good job. And then they're shooting off more uh, seed pods, which are growing to more plants. Not on the left side for some reason, but I guess that's okay. I should let them uh, fly out into the world, perhaps. That would be a bit more useful. But yeah, look at this. Spawning season, indeed. Hmm. Maybe I'll make the barge a, li a bit larger. Um, I think that would be a pretty good idea. And then you can get the maximum amount of plants stuffed in there. But for now, it's, it's good for demonstration purposes. Fifteen is what you need to get there. Uh, but more than 15 is obviously better, but it does make it more costly. Um, already that thing is 1,052 resources in order to spawn one, but uh, it seems to be worth it. Eventually it's going to uh, poop out some resources for me, so that'll be quite nice. I definitely don't want to lead them over to that agent fleet because we're going to get fucked if we go over there. Maybe if I spawn just a little bit more, we can take him out. Although, uh, I'm not too hopeful of that. <laughs> if you want me to be quite honest. Hmm, I just want to see this guy, this guy come to fruition. Spawn all the resources for me. Come on. Come on, little guy. Look at that. You're doing such a good job. Wow. He is spawning a bunch of resources. Look at that. Fills me right back up. Excellent. Fantastic work. And, uh, yeah. Now it's just trickling in now that I've collected it. But you can see he had uh, at least 2,000 resources. So it's definitely worth the investment if you can keep your barge ships alive. And, uh, I don't do a great job of that. <laughs> oh, there's the agent fleet. Oh, boy. Ah, oh boy. Golden ship. Alright. I guess my dudes are ready. Ready to roll. Daddy's over here. Daddy's got your back. Don't worry. Oh god, I'm a little worried. <laughs> here, chew this guy up. There we go. This doesn't seem like such a terrible agent fleet. It's definitely uh, outpowering my fleet, though. So we're going to need to be careful, make good use of uh, our missiles and whatnot, not charge in, especially since my shields are still down. Fuck, I forgot about that. Oh boy. Oh no. At least I've got the missiles. I've got the missile storm. They do not. That'll teach them a lesson, huh? Uh. And now I'm out of power. And they need to charge up just a little bit. Spawn more. I think we uh, did destroy the, the leader of the agent fleet. So they shouldn't be able to spawn anymore over here. So good job, farmer. Farmer plants. What a fucking job. I, I can't believe that they would be able to take down an agent fleet. And then, uh, yeah. Give me some resources. Do, do you want to give me some resources? I'll make another barge. It seems to be a good idea. 
just piss on that guy real quick. <laughs> oh man, reassembly, you are just too good of a game. Almost too good. And uh, we're up near 8,000 currency. Fuck. Just going crazy. Going crazy! Anybody got some uh, resources for me? No? We good? Are we fucking square? This guy's spawning like shit. Look at all those little seed pods. My goodness. And there you go. 400, 200, 255. Load me up nicely with those seed pods. So, yeah. Farmer race, not bad overall. Uh, once you figure out what the fuck to do with it. <laughs> to start with, it was definitely difficult. But, um, yeah. We are making our dent in the galaxy. And although I don't have the patience to take over the entire map, um... Yeah, we got a little chunk of it. We got it all started, but I'm eager to start on a new race. So I hope that you'll join me for that, friends. Please let me know if you're enjoying the reassembly content, or if you're like, God damn it, Dayton, please do something else. Um, I'd really like to make this a major part of the channel, because it is a game that definitely deserves more attention, and definitely a game that I uh, have fallen in love with. I fell in love with it when I reviewed it, and uh, my love for it has only grown since I'm starting to understand the the races a little bit more and things like that. So, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy this series, found it at all informative, that is always helpful, helps the channel to get out there, which is super important because we're striving for world domination over here. Um, at least that's the theory. <laughs> I don't think it's ever gonna actually happen, but it's, it's a nice thought in my head. <laughs> Anyways, friends, this has been Reassembly with the Farmer Race. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please join us for the next race that we will cover. It's either going to be the Bumbles or uh, a player-made race. I think uh, maybe the Buster player race or something like that. It's a pretty interesting one. Kind of uh, focuses on close-range weapons, which is super nice. Oh, look, enough currency to spawn some more. Wonderful. <laughs> Definitely give the farmer race a try if you're looking for a, a bit more of a laid-back kind of play style. Because you can just uh, sit at home, make all the resources in the world, and uh, spawn your fleet to completion. Which, you know, it's never going to actually be complete. But it's still really fun to just uh, sit here and make money. Because um, that's something I wish I could do in real life. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, friends. And until then... Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.